just too short. <coughs> uh, this one was uh, in um, Poet Law. Um, it's when the um, students who were in the demonstrations fled uh, east uh, across the Burma-Thai border to Thailand. They passed through uh, an ethnic group territory called the Karen or Kayin. And uh, city folks always used to think that the Karen are barbarians, but they ended up being looked after by these people. The Seeds of Truth. After the shooting, I moved from house to house, friends of my father's youth along invisible borders, sheltered by tribes I'd always thought barbarians. They shared their measly rice full of broken grains and unhusked shells with me. Nothing but fish sauce smelling to high heaven, chilies and boiled vines off the trees. On that, on that long trek, always only momentarily safe, the seeds clung to the edges of my black and purple striped Kachin Longji. Now I am finally free, these seeds finally disengaged themselves and grew into sour roselle leaves. Roselle is a sour vegetable, the leaves of which look a bit like marijuana, and I just spotted some over there <laughs> in somebody's house, like a block down, you know, growing vegetables. So this is the last one, and it's, it's a nature poem, and nothing much to do with Burma, except I happened to write it at a small little town called Sik Tuner, uh, which is like the precursor of Stockholm. And I was there because uh, we had to go to a meeting um, uh, on a little island uh, in Stockholm. Um, the organization is called like Democratic Idea, IDEA, and it promotes like elections and um, other democratic changes in developing countries. Geese, geese. Are those clouds or are those mountains rising from the horizon with the mist? I must ask the geese honking at dawn, flying in one straight line across the lake, their shadows below them. Thank you so much. For